You regularly break out, or is this just a part-time gig? Excuse me? Nice get-up. Thanks, I guess. Women issues? I'm just... Whatever, you wouldn't understand. Who does? First Lilith, then Eve. I'm talking about this. Life. Huh? Oh, coalesced atoms. Reflection upon reflection. Beautiful, isn't it? Take this song, for example. There's, there's literally no complexity. It's just a boring series of overused notes. What's your poison? I, I don't drink. Blues. Jazz. The unrelenting inner monologue that never fails to quit. Tell me, what are the distractions that distract your mind? Who are you trying to impress? Uh, time waits for no man. Isn't it obvious? Stooges, Ramones, Kennedys, back when people played with real instruments. Different buckets, same well. <laughs> huh? We're all cut of the same cloth, you know, kindred, reflections. Back at its conception, this glorious mirage was merely an infinitesimal singularity, patiently waiting to get its cherry popped. Shrouded in darkness, leading with light. You're making literally zero sense. The punk kids of the 70s were put on the back burner for being too unruly. You know, doused in outlandish, colourful fabrics, they were subjugated to the kiddies' tables for using studio hand-me-downs. And recording in dingy basements ad nauseum. What's your point? Don't you see the parallels, the subtle overlapping? Speed it up. Are you kidding? There's meaning to what I listen to. Actual substance. God save the Queen stuck up the middle finger to the establishment and gave working class kids a voice. Is that you or enemy talking? He's so precious. Can we take him home? What's Pow doing anyway? From what I heard in there, it's some obnoxious loudmouth with an extreme penchant for violence. How's that for uplifting? <laughs> You're comparing lethal bizzle to the sex pistols. <laughs> Such fragility. Oh, can we please take him home? No, that's what you're doing. Granny Smiths and Satsumas. <laughs> Why you got to be so extra? Look, you're talking about lyricism. I'm talking about sound. You know, sensation. Soul. Let's just agree to disagree, shall we? Man out of time. <laughs> what? You're not listening. No, I just... You're analysing. You're decimating every component in your mind, every loose off-kilter tendril into its most basic element. But this isn't some brain-busting mathematical equation or some fine dissertation on the fine details of super-symmetric quantum mechanics, man! It's Debussy in return in bow. I, I do like Michio Kaku, though, and I am somewhat uh, fond of Poe. You're so full of wisdom today. <laughs> well, in a manner of speaking. How so? You're making literally no sense. What the hell are you talking about? It's shades of midnight, you know? It's the colourless beads of James Dean in his prime, of James Brown in his prime! He loves it. What the hell are you doing? Can you feel it? Feel what? Our two hearts beating together as one. Every story has a beginning. Aquinas. Fair course. Yeah, gold star for you. Your mind receives the notes. Uh -huh. And yet, I see beneath the flowing red grass your heart pining against for the message. Be open. Be Mosher. You guys really need to stop drinking. With haste. 